Hello, I'm going to show you how to edit clip art in the Task Force Image Program and in Snagit. So let's click on the Task Force Image Gallery. Now let's click on Church, or enter in the term Church. And you see a number of images come up. Now, I happen to like this one quite a bit, so let's click on it. Now, you can do several things, several types of editing um, while it's in the uh, task force program. But what I want to show you, I want to go ahead and just go right into Snagit and show you what you can do with Snagit. Uh, with Snagit, you click on Snagit, then you click on Capture, and you just draw a line around the artwork, and that's all there is to it. Snagit has captured the artwork for you. Now, uh, before we begin working on it, I want to trim it to make sure that I've just got the image itself. So I go over here on the top and see how it just trims it down on the top. I'm going on the left. It trims it on the left. Okay, and I've got my image right here of the church. Now, there's a lot of different things that you can do with Snagit. It's uh, really a very, very powerful program. Let me just show you just a few of them that are kind of fun. Okay, we're going to look at um, just the image thing right here. And let's go over actually to uh, image processing. First of all, it's always kind of fun to um, posterize the image. And you can see what it does. This one is like, mm, nope, that isn't all that exciting. Sometimes it'll, it'll turn out really neat. Um, the other thing that you can do is you could solarize. These are, your, uh, these are two things that you can do initially just to see how it changes the colors. Now that's kind of interesting. But if we go back and we undo it, and we undo it from the initial posterizing, let me show you what else happens. Just play around with this till you get something that you kind of like. Wow, ooh, I like those colors quite a lot. I like that better um, better than the uh, than the blue tones for uh, perhaps a project that I'm working on. So you can you can uh, save it like that. You can save um, as you can do whatever you want to do. Now on the effects, we're not done with it. Another thing that you can do, and this this is something that's really kind of fun. You can pixelate it. Now what this does, and then you go over here and you do the size. See how you could just turn it into a totally abstract image? Or you could turn it into something where it you can sort of make out that it's a church, but it's just kind of an abstract image. And you might use this maybe for a background on PowerPoint or a cover of a booklet, whatever. Now let me show you one other thing that you can do um, with this same image. It's kind of interesting. Um, and this is something that I like a lot more. This is where you add noise. And what this means, and again, over here, your slider, see it just sort of adds these little, I guess they call it noise. But see how it sort of uh, softens it, makes it a little bit fuzzier? Again, you, you can keep doing this. Now, um, initially, it does it on all the different levels, but you can also take it, and you can just do it through uh, different channels on the red does that. On the green, it does that. On the blue, it does that. So I kind of like the one on the master. But if I'm going to perhaps use this um, uh, as a cover for something, as a slide, uh, something like that, I might want to save it like this. So let's just go ahead and we're going to save it as um, Contempt Church uh, noise. Okay. Now you notice that by default, Snagit saves it as a PNG file, a ping file. Now you could also save it in all of these different versions. Now, if I wanted to edit it in the Windows um, uh, Meta File Format Image Editor, I would click on this. That saves it in WMF format. But um, since I do want to just use it uh, as a ping file right now, that's just fine, so we'll click OK, and that takes care of that.